Hello, today we'll be looking at the basics of heat transfer film and some of the finishes available. Heat transfer film can also be referred to as garment film. You may also have heard of the term vinyl, although many of the heat transfer films available on the market today no longer contain PVC. Most of the films that we stock are made of polyurethane, which provide a greater softness, flexibility and durability. Unlike the heat transfer paper covered in our previous video, heat transfer film is not printed, but the design is cut out and then applied. There are some printable films available, but we will be focusing on non-printable films. Heat transfer film is available in a wide range of colours and finishes. For example, matte, glossy, metallic, glitter or flocked finishes. Some are available with pre-printed patterns allowing you to create striking products. We also have heat transfer films available which glow in the dark or react to UV light. All of our films are opaque, which means they are suitable for transferring onto any colour fabric. Whilst being great for designs such as text and logos, it is possible to cut and apply much more complex designs. Heat transfer films are made up of a film layer, heat activated adhesive layer and release liner. The design remains on the release liner until after pressing, which can make positioning designs with multiple elements easier. Normally when using heat transfer film, you would use a contour cutter or plotter, but for some more basic designs you could use a craft knife or scissors, which would require some more careful work. The film is placed release liner side face down into the cutter. You need to cut into just the film layer. When using a contour cutter, you will be able to consistently produce intricate designs for impressive results. Don't forget to mirror your design before cutting as the film is cut face down. Please be aware the cut settings you will use on your cutter vary greatly between the different films, so please refer to our instruction sheets as a guide. Once you have cut your design using your contour cutter, you will need to remove the excess film. This is called weeding. Now your design is ready to be pressed onto your substrate. Just like heat transfer paper, different films require different temperatures, times and pressure when being pressed. Please refer to the instruction sheet supplied with your film for guidance. Firstly, do a pre-press to smooth out your fabric and to remove any moisture. Only a few seconds is needed. Now place your design onto the substrate face side up. This is where the release liner is on top and cover with the PTFE or silicone sheet. Then press for the required time at the right pressure and heat. Next you need to peel the release liner away from the film. Please check the instructions for the film you are using as some need to be peeled immediately while still hot, some shortly after whilst warm and some when completely cold. By starting to peel slowly you can check if the film is properly adhered to the fabric. If you find any corners are lifting, you can re-cover your design with your silicone or PTFE sheet and re-press for a few seconds. Now you have finished your transfer. Thank you for watching and please look out on our channel for more videos.